Welcome to Watch Chat, where we chat about watches and other facts of life. I'm finally ready to talk about this watch. In 2022, Charles Gerardier launched a new line of timepieces called the Magic 8. Charles Gerardier says that the brand's mastery of motion and the science behind it is evinced in the kinetic composition that gives the collection its name. Now what does that mean? More about that later. In 2022, CG launched three variants of the Magic 8. The Cobalt Blue, the Emerald Green, and the Purple. I opted for the Blue. The watch measures 41mm in diameter, 12.8mm in height, and 47mm luck to luck, with the entire case constructed from grade 5 titanium. This material is stronger, more corrosion resistant, lighter, and more expensive than stainless steel. It weighs only 81 grams. While most grade 5 titanium used in watchmaking tends to produce a duller color, Charles Gerardier has polished this material to perfection, giving the watch an impressive sheen. The use of titanium adds to the timepieces upmarket's appeal. The bezel, case, and the lux are all mirror polish with the bezel featuring a vertical drop and a protruding ring, adding to its complexity. The flatter case back also has a protruding ring. Sandwiching between the bezel and the case back is a one-piece alloy that seamlessly extends to the lux. At the end of the lux, there is a classical ball-shaped curve design without any lug holes that adds on to the watch's elegance. The sandwich case is reminiscent of the SBGA407, which exhibits similar impressive polishing, making it a serious contender to the Grand Seiko. If you've missed my review video on the SBGA407, do check out the link in the description below. Between the 20mm lug width, I've selected a black view leather strap with blue hand sewn stitching that matches the dial. Charles Gerardia offers various types of strap, all made in Geneva for customers to choose from. The strap features an easy release lever for simple change of strap. The clasp has a twin-fold buckle release mechanism, all of which are polished with the name Charles Gerardier engraved on it. The open case back here displays the automatic CG8080 caliber movement, which is made out of 278 components. The case back here gives a modern rendition with all the bridges being black and possessing a unique tone attained through the latest generation Galvanic treatment that optimizes the NAC surface coating technology. The treatment, derived from the platinoids metals, highlights the finishes of the Caliber CG8080. The peripheral mask features guilloche, which is elegantly bold on its own, but made with even more intriguing by the Clos de Paris technique. The anthracite balance wheel, the large gear wheel, and the winding mask, and the engraved legal information of the movement, lacquered in the same tone as the dial, stand out prominently amidst these deep black parts. Despite the apparent monochromatic landscape, the lines, shapes, and angles, when captured by light, produces a nice sheen. Now, that's attention to details. It has 38 joules, 28,800 VPH, 44 hours of power reserve and 30 meter of water resistance. Underneath the flat sapphire crystal with AR coating, displays the elegant looking dial that is made out of grand fuel enamel. This is done by first using a convex silver plate as the base. A layer of vitreous enamel will then be applied by hand and the plate is then vitrified at 800 degrees Celsius. Once the coat has cooled down, a second layer is then applied and vitrified. This goes on until all 8 layers are vitrified to perfection, a technique that requires skill and patience to ensure that the dial maintains a parallel hue, depth, and aesthetic. This is not an easy process, and hence the production of the Magic 8 are limited. The dial color tends to be lighter in the center, creating a gradient of darker tone as it extends towards the edge of the dial. Because they are all handmade and pretty much dependent on how the animal are evenly cooked, underneath a loop, the dial isn't flawless. However, with the naked eye, they seem fine. But that's what I like about it. The perfection in the imperfection. Rising from the dial is another type of complication created by CG to display its signature move, 
which is CG's animation signature. At the 8 o'clock position, you will find a kinetic composition based on the number 8, which produces an endless motion. Similar to CG's mysterious signature collection, the 8 here is a throwback to the year 1809, the year Mr. Charles Gerardier received his certification as Master Watchmaker in Geneva. It is also a symbol of infinity and prosperity and the yada 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 yada. If you don't get what I mean or have missed my review video on the mysterious signature, check out the link I've provided in the description below. The 8 here, composed of two motifs that are brush finished with engraved coloured lines on the side of the motifs. The two motifs rotate in opposite direction. When they rotate, the 8 is broken and then reconstruct back to its original position in every 2 minutes. In other words, after the first minute, you get an upside down 8. After the end of the second minute, you get a right side up 8. Get it? Cool, hey? Rising from the figure 8 are two handsomely polished dolphin hands with a nice pin cap. The lack of an extension at the rear of the hour and minute hands adds on to the minimalist look. The brand name and markers are not applied but subtly painted on which also adds on to the minimalist look. This watch is truly elegant and gorgeous. The entire design and quality of this watch kind of feels like a crossbreed between the Patefilic Calatrava and a H. Moser and C. Endeavour. Having said that, it doesn't come without flaws. For starters, most of you would probably be thinking that for a 2 or 3 hands movement, 12.8mm is kinda thick. However, the Magic 8 is not a 2 or 3 hands movement, it's a 4. Because of the animation motives on the figure 8, the hour and minute hands have to sit above them thereby increasing the thickness of the watch. Anyway, 12.8mm isn't thick, is it? To put it into perspective, the SPGA407 here is 12.8mm thick, the Rolex Air King 116900 here is 12.9mm thick, and the HYT, well, let's not go there. Is it really that bad? The other thing I've noticed is that the push down onion shaped crown here kinda sticks out from the case even though it's pushed down. The upside to this is that the gap allows one to insert your fingernail in there to pull out the crown without any frills. The third thing I've noticed here is that when you shake the watch to spin the peripheral rotor, it's kinda loud. Anyway, notwithstanding that, I am still very happy with this watch. The colour is so vibrant but the design is so low profile. It's a mature looking watch but yet it has that cheeky animation at the 8 o'clock that is done with elegance and style. It is supposed to be a simple time only watch but one look at this and you know that this is not a simple watch. It's a conversation starter. So what do you think of this watch? Would you have chosen the green, purple or blue? Let us know in the comments below. By the way, this watch comes with a 5 years warranty and is engraved with a special number at the back of the case, making each Magic 8 one of its kind. Anyway, if you like this kind of video, please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification icon to support me and I will really appreciate it and promise to make more videos like this. Until the next one, thank you for watching.